Hello and welcome to CAD Graphics Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create a pixelated image and convert it into a vectored image using Adobe Illustrator CS6. Alright, as you can see I've got an image in New York City which is a proper image and it is pixeled. As you can see by zooming in you got all the pixels. Alright, so to start off what you do, you click your image so you have a blue border surrounding it. After that you can head to window and look for image trace. Right here you've got a window that appears which is image trace and you got here is all your presets. You got high fiddly photo, low fiddly photo, three colors, six colors, shades gray, black and white, sketched art and so forth. Here is your view, it shows you where you do your tracing, outlines or source image views and mode is your colors which you got color, grayscale or black and white. In this case, I'll be showing you a demonstration in color. As you can see, when color comes up, you have the number of colors down here. This means that if you select two numbers of colors, it'll be low contrasting, and only two colors on the whole image will show up. I'll show you a demonstration of six colors, and trace that. And then I will show you a demonstration with 30 colors, and you will notice the difference. This here guys is using an Intel Core i7 processor, so it is at the moment as fast as it can probably go. It usually takes around 20 seconds, 15 seconds, but if you've got a slower processor or even faster processor, it will take different. Alright, as you can see, with only 6 colors, it doesn't look as good and it is low contrasting. So if we bump it up to 30 colors and trace it, it will look much more better does still take a while even though we've already um, vectorized it before should just come now alright as you can see it does look quite a lot better if I just zoom in here close this and just zoom in you can see now it's vector and it will not pixelate no matter how much you zoom in which is pretty cool what you can also do you can if you want just click it again window head back to image trace and you can always just do an outline trace of it as that doesn't obviously look as good but you can then edit the colors yourself and so forth don't worry I'm just going to control Z that so that would be our finished product alright Thank you for listening. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for listening.